very much, John Cochran. The person responsible would be out of a job, not the president. On the eve of the second anniversary of President Bush's drug war, there is some good news tonight. Casual drug use is down. However, supplies are up. It turns out that while America was winning the war in the Persian Gulf, it was losing the war on drugs. More on that now from NBC's Lisa Myers. A year ago, Chicago didn't have open-air drug markets. Now, it has 200 of them. But it's worse than it was a couple of years ago. It's as bad now as it's ever been. There's so much crack cocaine here, the dealers literally gave it away for a while to create a market. And it's not just crack. There's also more heroin and more PCP. It's much the same story in Houston, Los Angeles, Boston, New York. Officials in each city report more cocaine on the streets today than a year ago, probably more than two years ago. Well, cocaine is just coming in and in and in. It began to get worse last winter. Right after the uh, Persian Gulf situation started to develop, we started to see the price drop and major loads come into the city. Why? Federal drug agents believe one reason is that drug interdiction and monitoring by the U.S. military was significantly reduced during the Gulf War. A sophisticated radar planes which usually patrol drug routes were transferred to the Gulf. The Pentagon disagrees. I'm not suggesting that there was absolutely no reduction in effectiveness. Uh, any changes were marginal, in my opinion. Today, the Bush administration said the apparent increase in cocaine on the streets is an illusion. In some cities, just because there's been a decline in cocaine usage, uh, you're likely to see a backup or a, what appears to be a glut of cocaine simply because there are less people using and buying cocaine. What's not an illusion is the worsening of the drug problem in small cities and towns like Purcellville, Virginia, as dealers seek new markets. Nor is there any relief in the spread of drug-related violence. Drug dealers now will go after your family, your mother, your father, your two-month-old baby to deliver a message. Drug agents often describe this war as one step forward, two steps back. Despite progress in some areas, the past year overall was a step back. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Washington. A target in the drug war, Manuel Noriega, is accused of allowing Colombia...